Seidler & Co. is a, a Zurich-based merchant bank founded by Martin Seidler. And what we do is we back entrepreneurs that we find exceptional. We've been doing this for, we have quite a long track record, I would say it like this. Our job is to, first of all, uh, have an opinion about what's happening in the world. We are very, very focused about technology and financial services. Those are two areas that we feel we have a very strong understanding of uh, both the sectors and the key uh, aspects of change and movement there. And we're very active then in creating and structuring deals. We have a long track record of both private and public equity transactions. Uh, we have a, a long track record of supporting businesses with fundraising and with ongoing strategic initiatives. And um, we're deal makers. Our business as Seidler & Co. is founded based on a differentiated view of the world. We've spent a considerable amount of time thinking about what's happening in the technology world. We are focused on the technology world and we see certain uh, key trends which we're investing in. Right now our focus is in financial services and there uh, we've been very successful in building technologies for retail banking based on uh, focusing on what the customers themselves need and, and how do you create uh, solutions for them to work together with the different uh, providers that they have, whether they're banks, insurance companies and other uh, financial services companies. So first of all, our investment strategy is based on a, a fundamental understanding that uh, you are able to create significant value over time. One of the uh, reasons why uh, we prefer to do direct deals as opposed to just uh, investing in uh, private equity through funds is because we're sometimes not comfortable in the time period that funds put on themselves. They, they look at 10 years uh, mainly and we believe that uh, working closely with certain businesses where we see a, a, a very strong fundamental business that needs to grow through technology, we see a huge opportunity there but we understand that you have to go step by step, you have to from one side have a strategy that's focused on the core value proposition of the company but at the same time look at how the world around you is changing and capture opportunities and create new opportunities for value creation as well. For me, the collaborative ecosystem is a key part of value creation because when we think about the essence of private equity, what we're talking about is how do know-how and skills combine with capital to help a business grow and create value. When we think about the ecosystem, for me, that means, first of all, uh, like-minded co-investors, but more importantly, people who understand the industry or what the business is trying to do have relevant experience that is able to contribute to moving the business forwards. And so we work very closely with a number of other family offices where we feel that together as a group, we're much more likely to be successful. And we co-invest with each other. There's always one family office that anchors the deal, but we move together and we each bring a different piece of the puzzle. And that allows us to achieve then very meaningful results, I would say. If you look at the traditional sense of co-investment in private equity, that has been a very interesting model for family offices to get returns and at the same time to reduce the fees that they're paying. When I speak about co-investments, I talk about bringing a deal together. It means that when we think about what we want to do with a business, we're looking for uh, investors that have the, the capital and the willingness to go on the journey that we want to go. And um, I, I think when it comes to co-investment, what's really important is that there's an alignment on the vision and how you want to go about doing that. And then you support each other, but there must always be an anchor, a, a lead to the deal who is setting the tone and is taking the tough day-to-day -to -day decisions in coordination with the group. I think it's a skill that you develop over time. Um, 
It's not necessarily the difficulty of identifying them. There, there are other families that have been extremely well and they have a track record. I think the, the challenge is in bringing things together at the right time. There's always a question of circumstances and focus and you have to make sure that the right time, the right focus, the right uh, mindset, the, their ability to commit to a project, the, there are certain elements to that. And of course, they always have their own philosophy and their own way of wanting to do things. So you have to balance that. I think the biggest opportunity I see right now, and we've heard this in some of the panels today, is that technology is really changing the way that businesses create value. And that allows uh, for businesses to reimagine themselves, to reposition themselves, re use their resources in different ways, uh, what we call strategic innovation. A and so as an investor, the question then becomes, where do we see the trend in the market going and how can a business reposition themselves and how do we generate returns from that. I find the exercise very interesting to think things through, uh, to, to analyze and I think that there are exceptional returns to be made when you get the right components there. Technology, uh, everybody is aware of the, the big firms, whether it's the, the Google or the Facebooks of the world, but technology is now uh, affecting every business and so it's a very powerful instrument.